Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12. Spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today we're going to be doing a video tour um, of a pocket listing that I have. But before we get into that, I just wanted to announce that I'm very excited. The next series I have coming up is one of my favorites. It is my local business spotlight series. So over the course of the next couple of months, you know, throughout the holiday leading up to and throughout the holiday season, I will be um, spotlighting some of my favorite local businesses in and around downtown Lake Orion. Um, so Stay tuned if you wanted to find out some of the, the hidden gems and some not so hidden um, in Lake Orion, please stay tuned for the upcoming episodes. Now, today we're going to get into a pocket listing that I have. Um, some of you may or may not know, not all homes that are listed, if you will, or not all sellers that use a real estate agent want their home listed on the market, which means it doesn't go into the MLS system and it doesn't get filtered out through the internet. Some sellers wish to keep their home. um, They want to sell it, but they don't want it being spread out there to the masses for various reasons. I have um, a fantastic home. It's a historic home in Gross Point Park as a pocket listing. And I'm going to share with you some video on that right now. Let's get into it. So here is a view of the exterior of the home. This is a 1927 English Tudor. This was a custom built home. You can see all the beautiful brickwork and detail. Um, It's on a block in Gross Point Park with other homes that are just gorgeous. This is like movie setting, like dream street. Um, so that's a that's a view of the front. Now we're going to take a tour of the inside of the home. All right, here we go into the front door. Look at that gorgeous leaded glass door entry. Once you're inside the home, there are hardwood floors throughout. Now this seller has put over 30,000 hours into restoring this home. It It is as close to as it could have been um, what it was like when it was built in 1927. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we were just in the, the front room with the fireplace, which is a working fireplace. Now we're headed into the dining room. You can see the sconces on the wall. That is a hand painted banner around the top. The leaded glass French doors to separate. Now we're going into a butler's pantry. Today, what we consider a butler's pantry is a little hallway with a um, this this section right here, just like a hallway with a a counter and a and a cabinet. But back then, the butler's pantry was the staging area. Here we're in the kitchen. It was the staging area. So the 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 cook would be in the kitchen preparing the food. It would be taken into the butler's pantry. It would be staged and then brought out to the dining room. Going into the half bathroom on the first floor. Everything is working for different reasons. The, the owner has the top off the toilet. All right, let's go to the second floor. That was the first floor. All right, here we head up the stairs to the second floor. Beautiful big landing spaces and windows looking out as we head upstairs on the second floor. Look at the wide hallways. You just don't see that in current homes today. Nice wide hallways, um, great size bedrooms. Every closet is a walk-in closet in a good size walk-in closet. There are four bedrooms. You can see the laundry chute we just passed. Look at the beautiful tile. It's this, this home has been loved and cared for. I love the built-ins. If you, you see the built-ins, there's just so many neat, unique features um, in these historic homes. Second bedroom, 
Now this this bedroom and the next, they have it's a Jack and Jill style, full bathroom, and we head into. This would this would likely be the master bedroom for most um, most families today. The bedroom we were just through that was the largest bedroom, and then here is the fourth bedroom. All right, now. One of the very neat things about this home is that there is a third level. So there are three floors. And now we will head up to that third floor, which has a fifth bedroom and another full bathroom. Again, a nice landing space, windows. You can let in air. You can look outside, let in the natural light. As we head up to the space, this was the maid's quarters. She had her own bedroom and full bathroom. You can look out into the yard, the, the gorgeous yard. And we'll head into the bathroom. Now, on that third floor as well, as we head up the stairs here, I just want to point out that there is also easily accessible. Now look here on the, well, to the right, there's a, a little short hallway with a door and that goes into the attic space. As you can see, we head into the yard. It's a nice fall day. There's a two car garage. There's a side exit to the home. You can see where they used to put the milk in. This beautiful backyard with the tall mature trees. There is a good amount of natural light that comes through, but there's some beautiful shading with those trees as well. So this is a gorgeous home. Again, this is in Gross Point Park. It's a 3,000 square foot, five bedroom, three full, and two half bath home. One of the half baths is in the basement, which is very usable as well. I don't have video footage of the basement. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, I'm looking forward to my next um, my next session uh, next week, starting the new series off. And um, I look forward to having you joining me next week to kick off the series will be Sarah Luxinger, owner of Sarah's Bath Boutique. And she's going to be um, letting us know um, some of the changes that she's made to her um made to her store. So thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you next week on Tea with Tracy.